ladies and gentlemen, this is Red Gaming Citadel video. We have some news regarding the new Radeon series cards, including, for example, that they are compatible with Crossfire with the Radeon 7000 series. But before you jump in, let's actually speak about this because it's a little bit confusing. So, a couple of viewers have actually been questioning uh, my thoughts on the new Radeon series cards, and there are a plethora of different cards that have been available. The most powerful among them, for example, being the R9-280X currently. However, the R9-290X and the R9-290 are the only cards based on a completely new architecture. To put it simply, the R9-280X and below are Basically, you could think of them as pretty much rebadges of the current generation of cards. So, just to clarify, for example, the Radeon R9-280X is pretty much exactly the same as the Radeon uh, 7970. So, it will still have 32 compute units, 2048 uh, stream processors or ALUs if you prefer, 128 texture units and will still have 32 ROPs and so on and so on. It will also still have the same memory bus width and also have the same amount of RAM. But the next, the, the next generation is going to be the R9290 and the R9290X. They're the new architectures but we do have a piece of good news. Now, firstly, AMD are going to be soon stopping the shipments of the 7970, just for example, of the previous generation, and focusing on the latest generation. But if you're wondering where does this leave you, well, in pretty good situation, actually. Let's assume that you have a Radeon 7970. Let's just make that assumption. And let's further assume that you don't have the cash now, but in the future you want to, let's say, go crossfire. Well, the great news is, then that's absolutely fine. You can pair up a 7970 with, say, the R9-280X, and they work fine. Uh, I don't know if it's officially endorsed, but unofficially it works flawlessly from what we're reading. And just for example, in one test, they showed that a single R280X running at 2560 by 1440 ran at about 53 frames per second. However, in Crossfire, with exactly the same resolution, you are running the title at 102.3 frames per second. So once again, with a single graphics card, you're getting pretty much 60 frames per second in 2560 by 1440. However, with a second graphics card, it goes pretty much doubles the frame rate to 102.3 frames per second. And the card does uh, function pretty much exactly how you'd expect it. In other words, it shuts down the second card if it's not in use, which is pretty much the zero core technology of AMD. So it's all pretty awesome in that respect. What's that good, sir? You want more information? Well, the great news is that, well, the next generation cards, the 290 and the 290X, are going to be coming out some point this year. That also, of course, explains why those cards are what features the new um, DSP, the new audio DSP, on them rather than the old generation. So I guess we're just going to have to see. I'm not particularly a fan of the fact that AMD have actually done this rebranding, re re I'm sorry if I can spit the words out. It's something that the video did a couple of times as well. Um, and I kind of don't like it, if I'm honest, from a very neutral perspective. For example, the 480 to the 580, that's the NVIDIA cards, there were a few differences. For example, they unlocked uh, more of the cores because they got better manufacturing processes down by that point. But there have been numerous other examples where NVIDIA haven't really played ball and a lot of the uh, hardware enthusiasts have kind of gunned them for that. I personally don't really like how close the numbering system is 
because I think it's not exactly misleading if you know what you're looking for and it's not like you're buying a lemon right that's 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 very important to realize if you buy a 280x you're not buying a crap card you're still getting a card which at max settings on battlefield 4 can run well over 1080p it's considerably higher resolution than 1080p so it's not like you're buying a lemon a lemon i'm sorry but at the same time it's not the next generation so i wish there was something a little bit more to distinguish but i'm hoping that this video will help to clarify things just to further point it out as well the radeon 7000 series the ones that have gcn architectures the r9s or the r8s or whatever in other words all of those cards will also all support amd's mantle so as far as I'm aware, and I'm pretty damn sure I'm correct on this, you will soon be able to utilize Battlefield. I think it's in late, late November slash early December, but I believe it's late November. You will be able to use um, Mantle with Battlefield, and it, you'll be fine, and you will get even higher performance. So hopefully that's cleared everything up for everyone. Um, so I'm going to get going anyway, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.